We're going to talk about the lies that people tell. Scammers have gotten so sophisticated nowadays. Just one wrong call, one bad text, wrong email, something like that could mean disaster for any one of us. And as the I team found, the losses in some cases can be staggering. Ginger Allen shows you just how far some people will go. These people that call are very, very convincing because they do this for a living. Every week, Eulis detective John Haker hears a new version of the lies people tell to steal from strangers. She'd been involved in a romance scam on Facebook. She's 72 years old. Uh, this guy told her that he was a petroleum engineer and he's been leading her on for five or six months. Said he had to go to Abu Dhabi to do some business. He texted her he was in a car crash and needed to be medevac to Turkey and they weren't taking his insurance and he needed money so she ended up selling her house and sending him $250,000 worth of Bitcoin and she's currently living in a motel over in Bedford because she has no other place to go. She's destitute now. She has, you know, her social security check coming in but her house that was paid off is gone. That was a long con, but Haker says in many Bitcoin scams, it's a race against the clock. Someone will contact them and say, hey, we're, we're with your bank and there's some problems with your account and we need to help secure your money. So we need you to go withdraw it all in cash, go to a Bitcoin ATM, convert it into Bitcoin and send us back the, you know, the code uh, so we can keep your money safe. That's how it happened in White Settlement this summer. Hey, ma'am, yes. can I talk to you for a second? Please, I have the bank on the phone. Okay, L let I'm, me talk to who you're talking to on the bank. And I'm in danger. This okay, is no, Chase you're not, ma'am. This is Chase Let me talk security. to them. Okay, stop putting money in there. Police say the 84-year-old woman got a call from someone claiming to be with Chase Bank. She put nearly $24,000 into the machine before the officer arrived. Chase Bank does not take Bitcoin. No, you're not going to speak with the customer anymore. You, 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 you have already spoken with the customer enough. We have so much elder fraud going on right now. Experts say the 60 and over population is attractive to fraudsters because while they often have financial stability, many are less experienced with technology. According to the FBI's Internet Crime Complaint Center, elder fraud increased 14% in 2023. Here in Texas, more than 7,000 people filed complaints last year with a total loss of more than $278 million. You can't really trust phone calls. You can't trust emails. You, you really have to verify this stuff in person. And that means talking face to face with real people. Haker says you should also get a second opinion about your situation. If you run this stuff by someone, as you talk, talk about it and you speak it out, you're gonna start to get more and more suspicious because it's not gonna make sense. With reports on the rise, he says it is more important than ever to have open lines of communication communication with parents and grandparents. You just need to sit down and be honest with them. I know you're independent, but I don't want you to lose your money. And these are the things that are happening to other people your age right now. It's a practice he preaches with his own family. I have my parents call me when they get something that they don't know and they, you know, get two or three words out and I'm like, scam. Detective Haker says those talks go both ways. He encourages adult children to call their parents when they encounter a scam. That way both sides can give advice and it will feel like less of a lecture. I'm Ginger Allen for CBS News Texas.